All right, so now we're gonna begin making our clay cup using kitchen tools. I have a slab that has been drying out and a small piece of clay that was pounded and cut to fit the base of this cup. So what I'm gonna do before I begin, I'm gonna use the store cart and smooth the surfaces of the base. Once we add the walls using a slab, because this is such a tall and thin vessel, it'll be really hard to get my hand in and smooth it out. So I'm gonna pre-smooth it using my card. It's a simple tool, but it works really well to smooth the texture away. You can see that the bottom is also really smooth, but that it has picked up the indentions from the surface. So we can get rid of those using a tool like this. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my slab I'm going to use my fork in lieu of a needle tool or a serrated rib to score the bottom side. And I'm also going to do that with my base. I'm not using my wheel just because you may not have access to a wheel, but this will be something that will be much easier on this. Because this has been sitting out for a while, it's a little dry, I use my sponge, or you could use your kitchen sponge or your makeup sponge, and wet the edges. And then I'm gonna take my slab and begin pressing it into the base. So, you can see here is where it's going to overlap. So I'm gonna come back in with my fork, or you could do the butter knife or the pencil, whichever is most comfortable for you. And I'm going to score the edge. And I may, just to be safe, also score the inside of this side. It's also a little dry, so I'll wet it before overlapping the two and pressing them together. Actually, I can use the Barnes knife to press where I cannot. Okay, so now we have the really rough outline of a cup. I'm going to take my thumb and wet it gently and smooth out the inside overlapping of the slab. I'm actually going to have to score it some just to make it easier to smooth. And now I'm going to work on the outside. So it's like the inside is pretty dry. So I may mark up the seam. And here's where I could come in with my smoothing tool or my fingers and begin to remove some of the thickness that I don't need.
Now, this isn't the neatest surface. You can see where it's splitting some because it's a little dry, but we do have a cup that is entirely round, relatively tall, using a really quick slab technique. And our tools, the card, the knife, the fork, the kitchen sponge, the takeout bin, they all worked really well. So at this point, it's just smoothing. I always prefer to use my fingers when I'm smoothing a slab or a piece of clay, but we have alternatives in case it's not what you enjoy. So at this point, you can reference our high school clay lesson about forming a cup to see more on removing surface texture, addressing the lip, and addressing the foot. So that's definitely up to you, but I think that in a pinch or in a sticky situation like we are in now, you can definitely use tools that you have around your home to work with clay.